kids, welcome to Kids Kids Story Stock Show. Today, I'm gonna talk about my water animal toys. All right, starting out with the one, the only, the tasty blue crab. Now, it's uh, not completely blue, but it has some blue on it, and it's very cool also. And uh, it has like a like a eight limbs. If you would count the claws as limbs, but mm, yeah, yeah, limbs. All right. And also, it's underneath. It's completely beige, and also has a blue pattern. On it. Also on top. Oh, and also on the side, it's like a sharp, and also has some spikes too, and some uh, beady eyes. All right. And also uh, the the claws they don't really move, but if you do this, yeah, it moves. All right, and I also have three of them. Now, here's the difference between this one and the others. The only difference is this is not as shiny as this, and it has the two back fins. It's sort of like fins. It has like a uh, flat one here. So I guess it really just has like a pen wings. All right. So yeah. Oh no. Okay, I'll get that later. All right. So yeah, now I have the game. The game. <laughs> All right. Now the next one is a crab, but it's a different type of crab. It's the normal, common crab that you always see. Now, on the sides, it's not as sharp as this one, and also has like a slightly shorter and bigger fins or sort of like fin legs leg fins it also has a different color even on the tips of its claws and also has a like a dark human skin color and also has like a very dark human skin color on top with some spots all right and uh, underneath has not so much a uh, pattern as this one but, uh, so cool of me. All right, fight. Uh. All right. Now the next one is a lot of them. Starfish, 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 and starfish, starfish, starfish. All right. Now this is a lot. All right. So. I had three gray looking ones, which are like in a very cool looking shape, and uh, underneath it, it looks a bit like a, it's like a very basic looking snowflake, because it's like a star with uh, some lines, like a skeleton. So yeah, alright, so I have three of them, you know, they look pretty normal, but then I have like a, these two ones. Which looks slightly different. The shape, and uh, it has like a bumps here on the side. And also, it's like cubish. It's not, it doesn't curve down, it's square. All right, it also has this thing on top, and underneath has some grids in the shape of a star. All right. All right, now next ones are, uh, Cool ones. They're uh, they're repainted versions of uh, these ones. They're still very cool. Cause it's yellow. And, uh, it's a cool bright yellow, but it has like uh, some different B pattern. Like uh, not the letter B, like the uh, insect. All right. Slightly different than this one's pattern. All right. And also have two of them. Oh yeah, I have uh, two of these types of stars. Alright, now the next ones are another repaint version of this one, but it has a different pattern. It's, you might think it's just pure orange, but no, it actually has like some gray spot. So it has a little bit of this one's color. Alright, so three and three. Now the next one is a cool one. It's this one, which has a lot of bumps. Alright, now it has a lot of bumps, but underneath you can actually see the suction cup legs. Or 
I'm just like shaped like suction cups when I'm in real life. Alright. And they work like suction cups. Alright, so yeah, that's just like an orange, yellow, yellow, orange, slightly greenish here. Yeah. And also there's another species of starfish called the Ripple Star, and they move faster. Alright. Now the next one is another type of crustacean. It is a lobster. A very small looking lobster. Maybe a uh, prawn maybe? Mm, yeah, sort of like a uh, well, it's just a small lobster. Alright. Now this lobster doesn't have the legs that look a bit like claws. It just has normal spider-like legs. It also has eight of them. It also has like a four antennas. Two big ones, two small ones. And also peach colored too. With some uh bulgy eyes. And yeah, it also has a thing And slightly hollow. Oh yeah, it's a swishy lobster. Alright. Now the next one is two different ones. You might uh you might have uh, seen it in uh some oceans before. You call it different names, manatee. Sea cows, but I'll just call them manatees. All right, now there's many types of manatees. I think dugong is a different species. They're not really the same thing. It's just a different type of species. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it looks a bit like a sea cow, except for the fins or flippers. So yeah, it also has a very cool. It's also a. It's also a very fat. You know what's strange? They eat uh, plants, like not so much plants, but they still get fat. So I guess they eat a lot, a lot of plants. Unless they eat seaweed. Alright, so yeah, it's also gray and uh, the dark spots on it, it looks like, it makes it look a bit like it's covered in moss, which a lot of them are. Alright, now the next one is a smaller one, but completely black gray. And it's in a different shape. The tail's different. The flippers, not so much of a difference. But the face, this one looks more like a seal. Sort of. Alright. Yeah, small blue or manatee, and a big one. Alright. Now, the next one is this one. It's a sunfish, that's why I normally call it. That's not really neat. Alright. So, it's a weird type of fish. It's actually a ginormous fish. Very big. Probably bigger than this thing. Anyway. Now, here's the difference between this and a normal looking fish. So, I'll just uh, take a sample. This one. Alright, now. Here's the difference. The fin. It's not like this. And it... The fins on the side, they're actually right here, not down here. And it has like only one, two, five fins instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fins. So yeah. Oh, and also, uh, ocean sunfish, they, uh, it looks more like a moonfish since of the color. And also, the feet. All right. So, you might not know what they eat, but they eat something that normal people can't eat or touch. A jellyfish. Now, jellyfish, you know how they are uh, stingers? Alright, now, ocean sunfish, they have layers of teeth in their throat, so <laughs> they will look a bit... Alright, now the next one is a stingray or a spotted eagle ring now this one's like a slightly different shape from a normal stingray it's like a shape like eh, slightly different it's not like it's more of a it's slightly wider all right now it's also a shark tool looks a bit like a it's also like a covered in spots and it's also a weird mouth 
Alright. And it also has a long tail and different fins here. And the mouth looks like an H. And the eyes, they look here, not on top. Alright. Now the next one is. Is that a stingray? No, it's actually a horseshoe crab. Now, I'm not sure about this, but um, some people say that it's related to. It's closely more related to uh, spiders and arachnids more than it's related to crabs. But I think it's uh, more related to crabs. Even though underneath looks like a giant spider. And also, sometimes they swim like this, sometimes they swim like this with their legs out. And yeah, it's sort of armored too. And they're also screws, spikes. And uh, don't worry about uh, not touching this. I mean, don't worry about touching this. They are not venomous or poisonous either. Some of their blood are in medicine. All right, well, yeah, there's also this mouth looking thing. And it has more than uh, eight pets, but they're very strong. It's also dark brown, like chocolate. All right, now the next one is very dangerous. They're called piranhas. Now, there's a lot of them. I have a lot of these piranha toys, and you may have seen them in movies. All right, now, these are fresh water, so you can swim in the ocean. All right, now, it has like a giant chin here. It looks a bit like an old lady. <laughs> Okay, not really. But it has like wrinkle looking gills. And also has some orange belly too. Alright. I think this is called a... Uh... Nah, it's just a normal piranha. Alright. It also has some uh, red orange pupil. Just orange pupil. And it also has some nostrils. Hmm. Fish with nostrils. Huh. Alright. So yeah, very cool. And... Alright, now I have them. <sighs> okay, so the next one is a swordfish. Or, I think the swordfish is more of a nickname rather than a. Mm, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a swordfish or a blue marlin. Now it has this giant spine fin, which is rigid like a potato chip. And it also has like a pattern here that looks like a skeleton, a fish skeleton. And it also has a long snout. Oh, and it also has a very scaly mouth, up under jaw, or lower jaw. Alright, it also has a cool color, it's like teal, blue green, that's bright. Alright, so yeah, very cool. Awesome, they're also uh, fast too. Oh, and they're also dangerous. Danger. Alright, now, you might not really see this, but it's a flounder. It's hard to see because of the camouflage, so hopefully I don't drop it. Wait, where is it? Where's the flounder? It's gone! Wait, I can feel something. Whew, okay, I found it again. Now, this is actually a fishing bait toy, but uh, I'll just play with it like normal. Alright, so yeah, very cool, and they're actually flat. Sometimes they swim like this, and it's like, it's in a, when it's like this, it's in a position of a normal fish, but, if it's, but they're normally like this. Alright, now I have different patterns. I have a completely black one with some white belly, so it's not really completely black. So I have a black one and a spotted one. The spotted one would be more camouflage. Alright, now next one is... A sea dragon, sort of like a seahorse. I mean, a seahorse. I don't know really why they got the name seahorse. All right, now a sea dragon is like in a shape of a seaweed, so it has like a uh, leaf-looking patterns on it, and they also don't have a back fin on the tail. Tail fin, yeah. It only has these and these fins too, and here on the side.
And this one's very colorful. It's called a weedy sea dragon. So it's like a seaweed. All right. So it's also uh, very colorful. It has some yellow spots, blue lines, black spots, cyan spots, and yeah, yellow spots too. All right. Now the next one is a normal seahorse. Now you might get a a bit confused because. It has a baby coming off its tummy, but it's actually a male seahorse. I don't know, it's like inverted. All right. So there's a baby coming up out of its tummy, and also red, full color. And since normal shape, generic shape, a cute baby too. It also looks fat and has like a lot of babies inside, more than one. All right. So yeah, it's also a uh, cool. It has this like suction cup. Sort of. Yeah. Alright, now the next one is a blue squid with a uh, kite head. It's shaped like a kite. It's actually like a fin. Sort of like a stingray. Bird. Alright, so yeah, it's also uh, very hollow. There's not much to say about this. Better than the fact it's blue, white, yellow, black, and brown. It also has some uh, very long head. Sort of like legs. Tap that. Alright. Okay. So the next one is a yeah, normal uh, seashell. Conch shell. Conch is actually a type of sea snail thing, which is big. I have a conch shell right there. It's actually very big. Biggest shell I've ever seen. Alright. Now, this one is uh, like a it's like a, used to be a squeaky toy, but it doesn't really squeak so much. And has a lot of spikes too. There's a beige color. Alright, it also feels like rubber too. The next one is a dolphin. Now, it's like a, uh, it looks like a fish, but it's actually a mammal. It also has this like long mouth too, with some beady eyes, and a blowhole, and a shark. Oh yeah, they make this like a whistle type of noise. Alright, now the next one is a very rare one. It's very cool. It's a coelacan. Now coelacans existed for many thousands of years. Thousands of years. They existed before we existed. And also, uh, they're not really extinct. Although scientists thought they were, but they're, they're actually still alive to this day. Alright, so yeah, it looks like a statue. And also has a cool giant fin too. Weird fin too. Alright, so yeah, it also actually has some scales with some white spots. I don't know what color this is. It's like dark blue. The next one is a porcupine fish, which is very spiky and bulbous. Fish bowling. Yeah, it's also a. Uh, this is not how they normally look like, it's just, and it's puffed up. It puffs up uh, water and sometimes air too. And uh, when they deflate, it looks like they're puking water. Sort of like a water faucet. So yeah! Right, now the next one is a walrus sea lion thing. Alright, now this toy is like very heavy. Maybe like the heaviest. It's as heavy as this blue crap. Alright, now, it may look like a fat seal, but you see the teeth, which are sharp, very long. I don't know why they use it, what they use it for, but it looks like a vampire seal with a very overgrown teeth. Alright, so yeah, it's also a very good tool. It also has like a mouth, sort of like a lion. So yeah. So those were my water animals toys and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Kian's Kids Toys Talk to and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! This is Kian's Kids Toys Talk Show and I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember to keep having fun.